Most fathers find it difficult to spend a lot of time with their children due to the demandingness of their work. That's understandable. But what if I tell you that there is a way to turn every minute that you spend with your child into quality time? Yes, there is. And today I want to share with you three very simple ingredients to quality time, simple that you can remember and apply very, very often. The first ingredient to quality time is to spend time one child at a time. Quality time is not the same as family time. Family time is great, but when you have more than one child, it is very easy and quite common for the more extroverted, more outspoken child to dominate and to monopolize the conversation around the table, for example, while the more quiet and reserved child will be withdrawn and quiet all the time. And even though he or she may have some things to share, he or she may not want to or feel free to because of the more extroverted child. So when you spend quality time, one-to-one -one time with each child at a time, you make the child feel special, you let the child know that you are important and that I want to hear what you have to say. And this child will open up more to you. That's ingredient number one, spend time, one child at a time. The second ingredient to quality time is to be present. Be there fully for your child, which means that you should be free from all distractions. Now, fathers very often bring their work home, now not physically, but in their minds. It is called rumination, where they continue to think and worry about their work even after work. So you need to switch off rumination in your mind and be there fully for your child. And when you are face to face with your child doing some activity or doing something in engaging with your child, make sure that your cell phone, your mobile devices are far from you. And also make sure that the television set is switched off because any kind of background sounds can be a form of distraction and can lower the quality of your conversation and your engagement. So be there fully for your child, be present. And the third ingredient is that it should leave your child feeling good. I want to share a story with you, and this is a story about a very, very well-known person. The story goes that Charles Francis Adams, son of US President John Quincy Adams, was a diplomat to Great Britain as had been his father and grandfather. On one occasion, he wrote this in his diary, when fishing with my son today. This fishing trip must have been put off many, many times already because after all, Charles Francis Adam being a diplomat, an ambassador of the United States to the Great Britain, was a very important man and had many people waiting to meet with him to discuss urgent issues. But finally, he decided that this day, he would take his son, Brooks, fishing. He must have been thinking about the many meetings that he could have had with different various people that day and the great accomplishments that he could have accomplished that day. But nevertheless, he was able to hide those feelings and spend that day with his son. At the end of the day, his son, Brooks, wrote in his diary saying, when fishing with my father, the most wonderful day of my life. You see, when you do something that your child enjoys, it will be a wonderful time. He will remember it for many days and many months to come. And this would have been quality time that you spent with your child. So what's important to quality time is that your child leaves feeling good. And your child, just like any other person, like you and I, we have very specific needs. We need attention, we need affection, we need affirmation. We also need alliance, knowing that someone is on our side. We need to know that people empathize with us and understand us. And lastly, we need solutions. Find out what your child needs when your child comes to you and then meet those needs and you can be sure that he will leave feeling good. So these are the three ingredients to quality time. Go, try them, practice them, and let me know how it worked out for you.